clock community. This is uh, my clock collection update in my new house. Why not film it in my new house? Because, yep, yeah. y'all remember this clock? This is the Edcordy alarm clock. I'm not really gonna go into the history of them because basically, it's a really cool clock. See the battery operated alarm. Here's the, my real life one. Listen to it tick though. Hang on, let me use my headphone mic so you can hear it ticking. Yeah, it has really loud tick. Whoa, God, I almost fell. Here's my Seth Thomas clock, but the hands are a little bit off. See, I don't know how to fix that. Here's my Arca um, alarm clock. It's made for anniversary, see. Timeless love. Happy 50th anniversary. Here's my big, huge, um, uh, mantle clock. Here's the other Ed Cordy, um, uh, uh, wall clock. Here's what I call my school clock, because it moves just like a school. Look at, look, the hand has trouble moving, though. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, see. Um, because it's almost dying. Uh, this is my other mantle clock. It's really nice, really nice. Here are my two clocks. Here's the, the black version. Here's the Sky Timer rooster clock. And there's the blue one over there. Here's the big alarm clock with loud bells. Here, let me show you. Very nice. Here is the West Clock's Twin Bell Clock, except this one does not work anymore, but the bells still go. There. Can't get the bells going because these are loose. Tight. There, basically that's all I can get out of it. The next one is the West Clock's Big Band. This is the battery operated version. I want to get the real one. Basically, from that little thing a you heard what it sounds like. This one is the West Clocks, um, I don't really know what the hell this clock is, basically. Focus. The second hand is like, no, that's not the second hand. The second hand is right there. It's a really detailed clock. Show you what it sounds like. Yeah. Here's my other school clock, which is actually running now, see? I actually didn't know that the second hand actually moved like this. There's another rooster clock right there. There's my Lionel train clock. And there's my spaghetti clock. I'm not sure if I missed any clocks back here. Uh, nope, I don't think I did. Alright, let's move on to the wall. Here we have that clock I got from the dollar store. It died. Look, see? It died. Here's one that's actually still running. This is the second model. I call this one the dirty model. Here's my. I call this the Seiko ripoff because the face looks like the Seiko clock. Here's the mini pocket watch, like the mini biggest pocket watch, which I thought was the world's biggest. It actually is running. And I put my mic up to it. Yeah, it actually is running. So. Yeah, it is ticking, um, it's a really great clock, it's talking about my pushpin. Oh, God, alright, here's my lab clock. I got this for my birthday, it reminds me of cinnamon, cyan, and I don't know, probably samba. Here's the indogram clock, which died, as you can see. It has trouble moving the second hand. Here's my dangle dangle wall clock. This one has trouble moving too. Here is the um, other rooster clock. Um, here is the world's biggest pocket watch. Here's the key clock, which basically has died too. Here is the other Seiko ripoff. And if this one would be chiming, it would have been going off in about... I don't know. There's some other clocks in there. There's the cat one. There's the Westminster Schoolhouse clock that you all love. And look what it is. The melody clock. 
is the Sturvia Noble clock right there. The Howard Miller grandfather clock top. I like to call it that because it looks like the top of a grandfather clock. Here's the masterpiece uh, um, wall clock. Here's a close up of this one. Here is a uh, mantle clock, 24 hours. Here's just 24 hour time. This one does not work anymore. And here's the Hermel look like wall clock. Looks pretty nice. And here are some wall clocks on the ground. Here's a mantle clock. This one basically has a problem with all I need to do is just tape the movement and it'll be back. Oh god, there's no help. This one is a anniversary clock. This is my second of two. I haven't put that on the shelf yet. This one is the Spark TVS clock. I call it that because I want it to. Why not? With this, you can see my uh, dollar, my other dollar store clock. This one I believe I got for Christmas. Is my bowling clock. I got this for my birthday. Once again, another rooster clock. Still haven't hung that on, hung that up on the wall yet. Probably because I run out of thumbtacks. Here's a clock from the iParty dollar store. Here, put these two together. They look, they look kind of the same, right? Alright, no. And here's my two clocks from the Dollar Store. This one, this one is the black-faced version. See, this one is the white version. This one's actually more clean than that one. See. Well, to me, it looks clean. This one's actually pretty cool. You know, it's weird. They, they were at the same time yesterday. And here's my Harold Brothers clock. I don't know if it's silver or not. But I just need I just need to take this clock apart because look at the paper. Uh, look at the face. It's kind of it's kind of pushed in and the hands have trouble, you know, ticking because of the fact that it is actually pushed in. So I need to fix that. But taking off the glass, um, I need that. Here's the Sturby Noble clock. Still is ticking. Let me let the pendulum go for you guys. It's a great clock. I need to get a nail for this to go on the wall. Need the batteries for it too. Maybe when I go to my mom's room, maybe I might take some batteries. <laughs> well, just for the you know the pendulum clocks. And here's the front. I don't. I need to find the pendulum for it. I know it's in one of these boxes. Okay. This is clock close. Yeah, we're bringing the clock spotlight series back because I haven't really, you know, did some clocks. So I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>